In this video, we create an Azure file share with NFS and connect to it with a Linux VM. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Seraltos. In previous videos, we created Azure file shares and connected with access keys and SMB. In this video, we're creating an Azure file share and accessing it with network file system or NFS. Before that, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. That helps grow this channel and is greatly appreciated. Check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop, Hybrid Identities with Windows AD and Enter ID, and Windows 365 with Intune Management. Links are below. And thank you, channel members. Your support is appreciated. Let's start with a bit of a qualification on this video. I have several videos on using Azure file shares, including with SMB and NTFS permissions. I'm including NFS to round out this series. NFS is primarily used with Linux systems to mount network shares. This video will show the capabilities of Azure files with NFS and demonstrate how to create a share and mount it. However, my experience with Linux is kind of limited, so I won't address advanced scenarios. NFS is a protocol developed to allow client computers to access network storage just like it's locally attached. Sun Microsystems developed this in the 80s, and now it's a primary way of accessing network shares with Linux. Over the years, several versions have been released. Azure Files NFS supports most features of version 4.1. NFS is a POSIX compliant file system. Azure NFS supports both hard links and symbolic links. The Azure Files implementation of NFS does not support user-based authentication. Instead, NFS uses network security. Let's dig into security because that's where NFS in Azure gets interesting. All data in Azure Files is encrypted at rest. Data sitting on hard drives in an Azure data center is encrypted, similar to how BitLocker encrypts drives. Data is also encrypted in transit within the Azure data center using MacSec. This is an IEEE standard for securing data at the medium layer. But there's no user-based authentication with NFS like we have with SMB in Azure. Access is controlled by network security rules. To ensure connections are secure with NFS in Azure, we must use private endpoints or service endpoints for the storage accounts. Private endpoints and service endpoints keep all connections to an NFS share over a private Azure subnet. That means there's no public access to ensure traffic is encrypted with MACSEC. This limits access to the share from a private network. The NFS share is not available over the public internet. If you have on-premises systems that need access, that will require a VPN or express route connection. Azure Files at NFS is a good option for backup targets for Linux and Unix systems, workloads that require a POSIX compliant file share, or applications that require NFS. A couple things to note, Azure Files at NFS is only supported on premium file shares. It's unavailable on standard file shares. And at the time of recording, Azure Backup is not supported. Also in the demo coming up, we go over configuring the file share and connecting to it with a Linux client. In addition, you may want to use the storage firewall or network security groups to limit access to the share. Let's jump into the portal to get started. Here we are in the Azure portal. There's already an Azure file premium storage account. NFS only works with premium. If you need more information on creating a storage account, check out a previous video on doing just that. Let's create a share. We simply go to data storage, file shares, and we'll add a file share. Give it a name. This example will use NFS share. We'll set the capacity to 100 gigs for this example. That's the minimum. Add more if needed, but remember that Azure Files Premium bills by the space allocated, not the space used. We'll change the protocol to NFS. We have a couple options for root squash. Root Squash prevents a root user on a client machine from getting super user privileges on an NFS share. No root squash will turn off squashing. This could be used for diskless clients or if a workload specified that setting. All Squash maps the users to an anonymous user. This is useful for shares that require read access. Root Squash maps the root user to an anonymous user, but doesn't apply to any other type of user. We'll leave it to the default for this example, no root squash. We'll go next to Backup. Azure Backup is not supported with NFS file shares. Let's go next to Review and Create. And once validation passes, click Create. 
That finished and it took us back to the share and provides us with some error notifications. The first one tells us we need to access the share from inside a virtual network. NFS and Azure does not support encryption in transit. Instead, it relies on Azure network encryption. We have to access the share over the Azure network. We can do that with a private endpoint. A private endpoint uses a virtual NIC to attach an Azure resource to a virtual network. We can then access the resource, the share in this case, over the private IP address. Let's go to review options. There's an option for private endpoints and service endpoints. Select set up a private endpoint. We can also get here from networking in the storage account. We'll add a private endpoint. Make sure the subscription and resource group is selected and give it a name. We'll give it the name NFS share PEP for this example. That also sets the interface name. Make sure we're creating this private endpoint in the same region as the virtual network you plan to connect to. Go next to resources, our target sub resources file next to virtual networks. Select your virtual network and subnet. If you're accessing the share from a different VNet, you'll need to configure VNet peering. If you want a static IP address, we could set that here. We'll leave it set as dynamic. We also have the option of using an application security group. We don't need that for this example. Let's go next to DNS. If using private DNS integration, leave it as enabled. You could also use your own DNS servers or create a record with a host file. We do need a DNS record to access the share by name. Private DNS integration is typically the easiest option. Click next to tags, add tags as needed and go to review and create. And once validation passes, create. We'll give this a minute to finish. Okay, that finished. Let's go back to the file share and disable secure transfer. Here we are back in the storage account at the file share. For secure transfer settings, let's change settings. As stated previously, NFS and Azure does not support encryption in transit. Instead, it relies on network level security. We need to disable the secure transfer required setting. It's still encrypted, just not at the protocol level. Let's save and go back to the file share. Now that we configured the private endpoint and disabled secure transfer, we can connect to the share. Azure includes the commands to use NFS and mount the share for multiple Linux distributions. This example uses Ubuntu. Let's log into the server with SSH. Once logged in, we'll run the command to install NFS. You can skip this if you already have it installed. We'll first update the advanced packaging tool. Then install NFS. This computer already has NFS installed. A new install would have a lot more output. Once finished, we'll mount the file share. If we go back to the portal, we could modify the mount path and the commands below that will update. Let's copy the commands. And go back to the terminal and we can paste in those commands. This is a multi-line command, so we'll need to hit enter at the end of the second line. The first command creates a directory, the second mounts the share to that directory. Now if we go to the mount directory under root, let's see what's under the mount directory. I'll use the dir command because the text is returned in white. It just makes it easier to read. Let's navigate to the share. There's the NFS share. Now if we do dir, there's nothing there. Let's add a file. Now, if we do DIR again, we have a file in that share. That is how to create an NFS share and mount it to a Linux computer. I hope this helps you better understand how to create and connect to an Azure Files NFS share. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.